Graphic design is the most universal of all the arts. It is all around us, explaining, decorating, identifying, and imposing meaning on the world. It is in the streets. In everything we read. It is on our bodies. We engage with design and road signs, advertisements, magazines, cigarette packets, headache pills, the logo on our t-shirts, and the washing label on our jacket. It is not just a modern or capitalistic phenomenon. Streets full of signs, emblems, prices, sale offers, official pronouncements, and news would all have been just as familiar to ancient Egyptians, medieval Italians, or the people of Soviet Russia. Graphic design performs a number of functions. It sorts and differentiates. It disguises one company or organization from another. It informs. Tells us how to bone a duck or how to register a birth. It acts on our emotions and helps to shape how we feel about the world around us. There is an old joke amongst graphic designers. Bad graphic design never killed anyone. This is meant to show the design is inconsequent, ultimately decorative. A question merely of picking one typeface or color rather than another that would work just as well. Journalists delight in using the adjective designer to stand for a particular kind of cynical consumerism that distracts us with a jazzy visual appearance, fancy bottle tops, cod Victorian labels, and new logos for unethical companies. This has led to phrases like designer water, designer jeans, even designer babies. Depressingly, graphic designers sometimes play a small part in producing this tinsel. Imagine if the graphic design was banned or just disappeared overnight. There would be no written world, no newspapers, no magazines, no internet, no science to speak of, books for the wealthy only, cowrie shells for money, a few items of literature, a handful of universities, and only the crudest medicine. Everything would have to be painstakingly written by hand. Without the design's process and ingredients, structure and organization, word and image, differentiation, we would have to receive all our information by the spoken word. We would enter another dark ages, a thousand years of ignorance, prejudice, superstition, and very short lifespans. Rather than frivolous extra, the uses and purposes of graphic design are so integral to our modern world, civilization, that Marshall McLuhan named us. Typographic Man